Hello Blazers, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. Hi guys, today welcome to a brand new video. Today's video guys, we're going to be looking at what kind of uh, apartment you can get in Russia for $150 uh, a month. Uh, even cheaper than my apartment that I showed you guys in my last video, so it's pretty incredible. It's what I would like to call a, a Russian babushka apartment. It's got a very Soviet style to it. Uh, Bold and Bangkok would very much appreciate this, I think. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and check it out. Okay guys, here we are in, in the staircase uh, in the Soviet apartment building. It's very epic. Check this out, by the way. Awesome Soviet uh, mailbox. Ever see that? No, you don't, because all you live in fucking Memphis, Tennessee or something, okay? Nobody's out there in Chelyabinsk getting down, checking out the real babushka apartments like I am. Smash like on this video right now. Hello everyone, welcome to my crab. Alright, so here we are in the Soviet apartment. Do you guys remember that video I made in which I sort of roasted, uh, you know, the abysmal Soviet apartments uh, that I said that, you know, we're not, we're not, you know, modern enough for a lip-tart soy boy like myself to live in and I wanted to like have a more uh, modern apartment. Well, right now we're in one of these uh, so-called, you know, Soviet old-ass apartments in which nothing is m newer than 1836. There, there, here we are. Check this out, guys. Soviet excellence. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This is incredible. All this furniture, it's like, everything here is pretty much like what I would see at my grandma's house. It's incredible. You know, guys, I was sort of hating on that entire Soviet aesthetic back in uh, that video I made when I was roasting Soviet apartments, but now that actually I'm here, I kind of like it. I, I, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Just for context, this apartment belongs to a female friend of mine who, you know, was in the need of uh, getting a new place for, for herself. So this was a sort of a more affordable option for somebody who, you know, is not a YouTuber or something like that. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is that this apartment is located right in the center of the city, like the most central location possible. So that's one thing to consider as well. It's it's a bargain. This place. Сколько у тебя стоит хата? Двенадцать с коммуналкой. You know, guys, with the with the <coughs> with the Russian currency falling on flat on its ass every single day, we don't know how much a dollar is worth anymore. Okay, like I could wake up early in the morning tomorrow, and the ruble is gonna wor be worth two times less than it was worth the day before. So we have to check. Alright, so I did check. This apartment is about a one hundred fifty-seven dollars per month. Okay, I already can see all the comments down in the comments saying, "Oh my God, here in New York, here in Britain, might we can all get that kind of apartment for a hundred." Fifty dollars. I can only get a bathroom, Mike. I get it, dude. But when you earn like three hundred to three hundred fifty dollars per month, one hundred fifty dollars is a considerable amount. So take that into account when you write all these comments saying, "Oh my God, it's so cheap." Nevertheless, though, it is pretty sick. All right, so let me give you guys a little bit of what's so. So first of all, we have the. Uh, this is the entrance. You can see this incredible uh, leather door with leather lighting. I think this is insane. Okay, one the thing that I think you guys are gonna very much enjoy is the bathroom. You see, guys, um, this is a. Soviet invention that people back in the Soviet Union used to sort of um, cut down the electricity costs. So you guys might see that there's a window uh, that goes from the kitchen to the bathroom. So the reason for that is, is because if somebody is in the kitchen, imagine this, this is 1957, Soviet, Soviet situation, we're in the kitchen, we have the light in the kitchen turned on, and somebody wants to take a shower or a, uh, you know, a number two in the bathroom, right? So instead of wasting uh, uh, electricity that costs maybe very much uh, back in the day, you can just have the light turn on there, and when you go back to the bathroom, you can have your light turned off right here, not wasting any electricity, but you can still kind of see and do do your thing. Genius, genius engineering. Soviets, the Soviets were good at saving money. Socialism is when no iPhone, guys. Everybody knows that. And it's all, of course, uh, you know, sort of uh, with this classic Soviet style. You guys remember that uh, staircase we looked at? It's pretty much like the same style right here. You know, uh, there's some continuity with the design of this stuff, so it all makes sense. It all looks nice. Uh, you know, the Soviets got the, had their aesthetics on point. Here, right here, guys, you can also see a very old mirror and a. A very old uh, sort of piece of furniture like this again is something that I would see at my grandma's house um, we actually don't know if there's anything here so this is actually a first time of us opening this let's see if there's anything in there <sighs> 
Окей, okay, guys, let's try again. Let's try that again. Uh, да, это вообще, блядь, открывается или нет? Это открывается. Да-да-да, давай, я в тебя верю. Yeah, guys, you can see how much of a soy boy uh, left hand I am. I can't even open a cabinet for the real Soviet socialists were able to do it. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I don't know what any of this is. And also, guys, some uh, self-defense weapons. You know, in case somebody tries to break in into your Soviet apartment, give them a good old hack with this thing right here. Everything's gonna be, everything will be great. You, you have something to defend yourself with. And also a rope. Just in case. One of my favorite things, about, I think, by far about this apartment is this couch right here. First of all, I mean, come on. It's incredible, isn't it? I, I've never seen a couch like this in my life, I think. Like, even, even if in some babushka houses I've been to, I've never seen a couch like this. This is Soviet genius right here. First of all, this is a couch and a table at the same time. Like, you can, you can sit right here and uh, have a drink with your friend without needing to even go to the kitchen or something like that. I want to put a vodka bottle right here and uh, just sit and uh, talk about life and uh, politics. Now, here's the funniest thing about this couch by far is that there's actually a secret compartment right here, which you can turn and you can put <laughs> different sorts of things. I don't know what this is, but what I think is really funny is that you can play a game of Russian roulette. So for example, if you have trouble deciding perhaps what to drink today uh, with your friend, you can put a bottle of vodka here and a bottle of cognac, I guess, right here. And, uh, and you just give it a good old spin and you see, there it is. We're drinking vodka tonight, you guys. Amazing. Now this right here, actually we haven't opened this as well. It, this does open. Let's see what... It has to offer. Yeah, guys, I mean, I don't know if you can see anything, but uh, for some reason, there's a, there's a uh, pack of cigarettes right here. Uh, <laughs> here's what happens, guys, is when you rent a flat in Russia, a, a Soviet babushka flat in Russia, you get a free pack of cigarettes. Uh, unfortunately, it's empty, but it would have been really cool. It would have been really cool if there was some right here. By the way, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Russian uh, the cigarette packs, but this says uh, erectile dysfunction and it has a uh, woman pointing down. So if you smoke cigarettes, guys, your penis is not going to work. So uh, stop doing that. And there's also a whole bunch of uh, newspapers. Uh, I don't even know what this is. How old is this shit, man? Like, oh, okay. Uh, I see what this is. So this is uh, actually... I think, I think this is actually uh, Communist Party propaganda. Unironically, you know, the Rus Russia does have the Communist Party. I think, yeah, I think this is actually Communist Party propaganda. Uh, this guy's is a newspaper. Nice, I like that. It's very authentic for the Soviet apartment as well. The computer as well, you know, this is an addition uh, by my friends, you know, obviously there was no computer in this flat or anything like that. But, you know, we stand on brands, you know, the, this uh, computer case is like from 1997. You can see there's like floppy disk trays in it and shit like that. It's really nice, really, really fitting to the uh, to the whole atmosphere of the flat, I, th I feel like. There's also a little compartment there, which which is like a walk-in wardrobe, which you can put your clothes in and stuff like that, but we're not gonna... We're not gonna check it out, it's an uh, off-bound zone for us. And now we have the kitchen, which is uh, kind of nice. Again, uh, this, uh, you know guys, when you're an alpha of 6 foot 4 chat like myself, every single uh, fridge is shorter than you. I don't think it's the most logical thing of all time when the, uh, the light switches are so high up. Um, I don't really get it, but other than that, it's pretty good. I think the kitchen is like by far the most modern look, modern looking uh, parts of this entire apartment. Uh, um, unfortunately, you know, it's not one of these cases where uh, when you get into an actual babushka flat in Russia where a real babushka lives, for example, when you come visit your Russian grandma, you do get a lot of family, you know, relics uh, up in the attic and stuff like that. This is a rental apartment, so it does have the atmosphere of a babushka apartment, but unfortunately, not many of the relics of the babushka apartment. So we can't find really interesting, like, uh, teapots. A little, you know, all, all this little stuff, so... I feel like the only thing this apartment is really missing is uh, rugs on the wall. Because, I mean, that would actually add some uh, real Soviet flair to this. But other than that, guys, yeah, I think it's pretty incredible. This is what you can get in Chilevins for $150. Alright, guys, that is going to be pretty much it. Ugh! Ugh, oh, these Soviet chairs are amazing. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is going to be pretty much it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this little tour of a Soviet apartments. I hope this video was sort of a continuation of a sort of series I started now on my channel on all the uh, incredible apartments you can get in Russia for very cheap. Again, guys, once again, when you uh, when it comes to uh, this, to the extreme price, I know this video is like basically clickbait saying that it's $150 a month, which is it's true, by the way. It, it literally is. Once again, you guys need to remember that... When 
when you speak about that, you need to uh, understand that most people make like 300 to 400 dollars a month or something like that. So I know you're gonna be saying like, oh my god, I spent 2,000 dollars in Vancouver, Canada. I get it, okay. But Chilebinsk, Russia is not fucking Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, okay? Okay, a boot. So yeah, uh, when we talk about cheap Russian apartments, you gotta understand that when you move to Russia, like, you know, all the Slav Slavobus say, oh my god, apartments are so cheap, I'm gonna move to Russia. Again, you're not gonna be earning what you earn right now. You know, if you if you can afford to rent a $2,000 apartment, like a lot of people commented on my video, First of all, you can probably afford donating to the Patreon of this channel. <laughs> but seriously though, you could probably, uh, your early wage at that point is probably in the six figures. I mean, if you, if, I mean, maybe I'm delusional, I don't know, I, I don't know honestly. But all I'm saying is that you're not gonna be making, you, you, you're not making $300 or $400 a month. I don't really think it works like many people think. So I just wanna give a little heads up here, you know, just clear the waters. So yeah guys, I guess that's going to be pretty much for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, this tour of this $150 a month uh, Soviet apartment. Apartment. Maybe next time another friend of mine will rent a Soviet apartment something like that said so I'll make another one of these uh, Basically just ducks in every single one of my friends guys epic just genius Hope you guys did enjoy this video today if you guys did please be sure to slap that like button on it as well guys And once again if you want to support my channel if you want to support me make sure to donate to my patreon uh, The link is down in the description also guys you can buy my YouTube's that I designed myself that I made myself It's really cool. It's really epic and yeah guys that is going to be pretty much after this video And I will see you guys in the next one Peace.